Hey guys, and welcome back to another Cadet Classic Gold Farming video. Before we get into it, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone that has gotten a copy of my Cata Gold Making Guide. So what we're going to be farming for is Amber Silk Cloth. So if you have tailoring, you'll get increased cloth. And also you want to have a potion of treasure finding. This will allow you to get tiny treasure chests, which have a bunch of different Cata materials inside them. So the farm is located in Deepom over at this spot right here at Verloc Stan. Now this is a hyperspawn gold farm, meaning the mobs respawn extremely quickly. So to start off with, make sure you use your potion of treasure finding. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be farming all these trogs right here, and there is a bunch of them. And these guys respawn extremely quickly, making this one of the best hyperspawn gold farms in Cata Classic. You're also going to be getting chances at getting some really good BOEs from here. These mobs drop your greens, your blues, and your purple Cata BOEs. So if you're lucky enough to get your hands on a purple BOE, that can sell for tens of thousands of gold at the moment. They're some of the best item level items you can get in the game at the moment, the BOEs, the purple BOEs. So if you're lucky enough to get your hands on them, you can make a lot of gold. But without getting those, you're still gonna be making just a lot of gold from the amber silk cloth and also the tiny treasure chest. All the items from the tiny treasure chest are cataclysm materials that also extremely quick up on the auction house. Now why this farm is so good is because of how quickly these mobs respawn. They have a hyperspawn mechanic where pretty much as soon as they die, they're going to start respawning. And across this ledge up here, there is just hundreds of these mobs. So you can actually do this farm while other people are also farming here. There's like four or five other people farming at the moment and there's still enough mobs for me to AOE farm them. Now this is a really good farm because you're gonna get a bunch of amber silk cloth which sells really quickly on the auction house and also it's one of the best spots to farm the tiny treasure chest. In an hour, you're going to end up with a bunch of the tiny treasure chests, making a lot of gold in cutter materials which sell very quickly up on the auction house. This is a really good farm to do, however, I would recommend doing this on a class that has a tank specialization. If you come here and try to do it on a DPS, you'll get overwhelmed very quickly with the amount of mobs. And you can't just pull like one or two at a time. Because all the mobs are so close together, you're going to be pulling like minimum, like five mobs plus um, at a minimum. So that's why I'd recommend coming here on a tank. And what you can do then is you can do some big AOE pulls and pull a bunch of mobs at once and then just AOE them down. So classes like your your Guardian Druid, your Protection Paladin, your Blood DK, things like that are going to work the best on this farm. Now you can do this on a DPS, but I would probably recommend having a healer with you. If you have a tank specialization, you're going to be able to solo these mobs and do big AOE pulls, making it really, really worth it. So just keep that in consideration before you come over here. If you've just got a DPS class, Maybe this isn't the farm for you, but if you have a spec or a class that has a tank specialization and that can do some good AOE, then I'd highly recommend coming here and giving this farm a go. It's really, really good. This would have to be one of the best hyper spawns in Cata Classic by far. They just respawn so quickly and there's an unlimited amount of mobs and they are only level 83. So they're very, very easy to farm and you end up with a lot of M silk cloth and a whole heap of the tiny treasure chest. So come here and give it a go. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoy this farm, and also let me know down in the comments if you're enjoying Cata Classic so far. So here are the tiny treasure chests. So like I mentioned before, you get a bunch of different materials inside of these. As you can see, we're opening them up now. A bunch of different volatiles, you get all the different um, the ores and a whole heap of the amber silk cloth which adds up very 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 quickly Like I said before all of these materials sell really good up in the auction house. They're all cataclysm materials However, if you'd like to learn more about making gold in Cata Classic You can check out my complete Cata Classic gold making guide which will be the first link down below in the description box This is a guide where I teach everything I know about making gold in Cata Classic all in one guide for you this is constantly updated, and if you already own a copy, you get a lifetime worth of free updates. Till next one, guys, take care.